okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh holy shit. That feels different. Holy crap balls. Wow. Wow. That is interesting. That made a huge difference. guys to another episode on the extra mile my name is alex and welcome to another bmng episode i had so much fun last time and i was so disappointed about the force feedback that i thought i would spend some time and try to get the most out of what we have here in beam a word of warning before we begin i've noticed that sometimes when i launch beam uh, the force feedback doesn't feel right it's relatively light and when you try to do any changes um it doesn't affect the wheel at all so you can set strength uh, strength to 1000 or to zero it doesn't matter uh, right now it works perfectly but if you should try to uh, recreate some changes that i will show you here in the video and it doesn't really feel like it makes a difference and it's still overall very vague and light try to restart your game um, or even restart your computer one more time and see if that fixes it. Usually when I restart the game, it fixes it. So that's just a word of warning before we start. So um, what we want to do first is we want to go to controls, force feedback. For some reason, I always have two here. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, just click on the one that works. You can see it here. And we want to start with our strength value. That's where we want to start our journey here, just to see um, how much overall strength we want in our wheel. Um, before we do so, make sure you have this filter set to direct, make sure you have the right steering lock here, in my case 900 degrees, so your in-game wheel rotation matches your real wheel. Make sure you have linearity set to 1, because if you don't, um, that can affect how the force feedback feels, so leave that at 1. And then we start our journey with uh, strength, go to about 450 and zero smoothing and let's just uh, see how that feels so let me show you what it feels like without any smoothing I don't know you can probably even see that in the wheel how it oh that actually sounded pretty good yeah you can see that when we drive over the curbs there let me try to show you that again there, there's a lot of quick movements in the wheel. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to add a little bit of smoothing. Now that our general uh, strength level feels pretty good, actually I think we could go a little bit higher. Um, let's go to 350. We want to... Come on. We want to start very, very low here with this value. We want as little smoothing as possible. So let's see. That already feels a lot better. There's actually quite a bit of feedback in the wheel right now. I've noticed something weird uh, while I was recording this. Sometimes, at least with my Fanatec wheel here, the force feedback does not work as it is intended. It is very low and when I change the values, the wheel doesn't even respond. I can set the strength to 1000 or to zero. It doesn't matter. It doesn't influence the force feedback at all. So now I just restarted the game and now it suddenly works again. When I was recording the last episode, the feed force feedback didn't work properly. So that seems to be a bug. Whoa! way too much okay so that seems to be a bug so you need to be careful about that but now it definitely works as it should and it does respond to changes so let's whoa let's um increase the smoothing value just a little bit more ah first feedback come on so maybe we want to go to 80. That's where we're headed before. And let's see how that feels. Yeah, that's definitely better. Might need just a touch more. <laughs> I think we might need a little bit more smoothing. 
after all. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, too much. <laughs> oh, I love this game. So, yeah, let's... um. We want a little bit more smoothing. So, let's go to 100. Also, I don't know why I have two different uh, axes here. That's always a little bit weird. Let's go to 100. I think that should be perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. That feels good. That feels good. Yeah, yeah, guys. So when the force feedback actually works, it's actually not bad. Right now, it's not bad. So um, this is a good baseline, about 350 in terms of strength for my wheel, that is, which is a Fanatec CSL Elite. And 100 smoothing, that helps for me. So side acceleration feedback. This is pretty interesting. Let's start to layer, oh, max strength. It was advised to put that to 100. So let's see if that still feels the same or if we have to lower something else. Okay, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh holy shit. That feels different, holy crap balls. Wow, wow. That is interesting. That made a huge difference. Okay, okay, okay. Wow, this car is actually pretty fast. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Okay, a lot of force in the wheel. So, we probably... Oh shit, come on. Oh no, 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 no. Smoothing is still great. There's the self-correction of the wheel that I said I was missing before when you start to rotate the wheel in real life kind of uh, corrects itself to a degree. Holy shit, that is there right now. You see that? When I, when I start to slide, it... Let's try this again in this corner here. You will see that the wheel automatically corrects itself. You see that? That's great. That's great. That's great. We're getting somewhere, guys. All right. But now we have to reduce the overall strength of the whole thing because it's a little bit too much. So let's go with 250. Let's see how that feels. Oh, yes, 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 we're getting somewhere. <laughs> yes, we're getting somewhere, guys. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe a little bit more smoothing. But this is good. This is really good. All right, a little bit more smoothing. Maybe a little bit less force overall. But this is getting really good really good guys so let's go with 130 maybe 200 let's see how that feels we will just keep this car so we have a reference oh yes 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 it's yes way too early Alex way too early and we crashed the car This is so much better than before. Holy shit. I can actually feel what the car is doing right now. Wow. Okay, so now... Now we're getting into the fine-tuning. This is already very good. I would like to increase the weight of the steering wheel and lower the forces, the correction forces overall a little bit, if that makes sense. I will sh show you, holy shit, I will show you what I mean. So, at the center, I would like to have a little bit more 
but then I want to reduce the forces that kind of turn the wheel when you start to rotate. So now we're getting into the uh, details. And I think we can do that if we... Um, up that to 250 and lower that to, let's say, 85. Let's see how that feels. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I wanted. Yes, 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 yes. This is really good. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, we're getting there. So, I think... I want to lower that to 75 and maybe a touch more smoothing and I think, I think we're about to hit the sweet spot here. Yes, 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 that feels good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot, guys. A lot of information. When I go into the corner here right now, the wheel stiffens up a little bit. This is really good. Yes, 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 yes. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Maybe... Lower that to 70%. Maybe lower that to 240, 230. Let's go to 230. Come on. 230, there we go. And maybe 170 smoothing. But we're very close to something that I'm very happy with. And we still have one more value to play that will give us more information about what the car is doing. This is this is the sweet spot. This is the sweet spot. Whoa, shit, shit, shit. Okay, okay, okay. Man, I'm excited right now. All right, so um, the last thing that we can play with when it comes to force feedback is this one side acceleration feedback so that measures the g-forces that are um, happening let's say and it adds a layer to the force feedback to kind of give you a little bit of information about what the car is doing so let's try to max it out just to see how it feels and then we can dial it back from there it kind of stiffens the wheel up a little bit more when you enter a corner, I think. Let's see what happens here. Let's uh, break a little bit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel it now. It's interesting. It feels pretty good. Yeah, you can feel that. It also seems to help with correcting a slide a little bit. I'm almost inclined to leave it... Whoa! Whoa! At 20%. Maybe lower it a little bit to make it a little bit less obvious. Oh yes, this is good! It kind of smoothens out the whole force feedback feel. I think I would probably turn it down a little bit. Maybe 15%, but I think... I think... That's pretty much it. And then we're done, guys. And holy crap, does that feel different than what I felt in the wheel before. Let's go with just 10. Let's go with 10. This is awesome! I didn't expect to get such a good result, to be honest. Whoa! This feels awesome. This feels really good. And I crashed my car. Let's actually um, pick a car that is rear-wheel drive and that I hope that we can drift a little bit. 
around this track, something that should be relatively easy to control, so meaning long wheelbase and heavy. There it is, the Grand Marshal. So we want the, let's, no, the drift missile is probably too extreme, but let's try, let's just try. I usually don't do well with drift cars in beam. I do pretty well with drift cars in a set of Corsa. Okay, this doesn't feel too bad. It definitely feels fast. The force feedback feels great, man. I can feel everything in the wheel. That was smooth as hell. I like that. Yes! Yes, yes! Yes! I flew off the track, but goddamn, yes! This is what I wanted. Oh, I'm looking forward to this corner now. Let's see how that works. Yes! <laughs> So yeah, um, again, there was a bug that the force feedback doesn't always work as it should. Tap on the brakes a bit, still too much. But when it works, holy shit is it different. Yes! Oh my god, I can actually drive a drift car in beam. Not perfectly, uh, granted, but I'm kind of keeping it on the road, kind of. No! <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, this is good! Holy shit! Whoo! I'm sweating! Yeah, this is the result that I was hoping for. I didn't actually believe that I could achieve something that good, but... It is very good now. Yes, yes, a little bit of high-speed drifting going on here. Oh, yes, please. <sighs> this is so good. Awesome. Let's try one more car. I want to try one more car. I want to try one more car. Um, let's go with the K-Series, the ETK TT Sport Plus. Let's try this one. Oh, wait. We have to make sure that our traction control is completely off there we go all right let's do this oh this feels so good in the wheel right now come on yes Scandinavian flick it. Yes, it feels so good. It's a completely different driving experience now. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, come on. This is good. <laughs> okay, let's go for a nice big donut here on the parking lot to finish this off. And then I will show you uh, the force feedback values again that I'm using right now, which work really, really well. 
for my wheel. Come on. Okay, we need a little bit more power to make this spectacular. That should do it, I hope. Oh, yes. There it is. Oh, yes. This is exactly what I want. You can feel what the car is doing through the wheel. It's beautiful. <laughs> Four wheel drive. Donut. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Anyway, guys, let me show you the force feedback values that I ended up with one more time. So you can try to recreate that maybe and you have a good baseline. So set your filter to direct. Uh, make sure that you have the correct steering angle. Um, set linearity to one because that can... Um, kind of influence the force feedback and how it feels. Very important to have that at one. Enable the force feedback. Check if you need inverted um, or not. The way to do that is you just um, basically stand still, engage the parking brake and try to turn to one direction. If the wheel fights you, then you need inverted. If it helps you, then you need to uncheck that. So that's important. Um, the last one or the last few things uh, strength in my case 230 is great maybe I will bump it to 250 again smoothing at about 170 that might vary with your wheel a little bit I have checked this one reduce strength at low speeds that only works at under 10 kilometers an hour and it kind of gets rid of that wobble um, I'm using 10% side acceleration feedback and about 70% max strength and um, I leave that at the default values automatic fast and I'm using the correction response curve and that's it and I hope that your result will be as satisfactory as mine is right now because this is awesome and it turns beam and G into a completely different game because now you can feel what the car is doing and I absolutely love it <laughs> anyway guys this is it from me i will keep drifting until my engine explodes and i will see you in the next episode bye bye <laughs> god damn that made such a big difference <laughs>